From giant tree stoppers to walking and excavators, we take a look at some of the weirdest machines ever built. We begin with some of the newer machines and look at the Menzi Excavator. Otherwise known as the Spider, Menzi builds a few different variants of this machine. The 545X variant features a VX drive system that allows the machine to turn on a dime and travel over obstacles. It can travel up to 9 miles per hour and it has stabilizers for horizontal and vertical direction. The power boom is also adjustable, but I'm not really sure if you need all these features. Anyways, it can show off and do some really cool tricks. Ask number 9, the SLJ900. Did you ever wonder how bridges are built? Well, one of the neatest machines out there eliminates complexity and it can build bridges on the go. The SLJ900 can install girders over long spans. It is over 300 feet long and 24 feet wide. Plus, it weighs over 580 tons, so it's a pretty big machine. It's capable of building over 700 bridges in its lifespan, and these builders are quickly becoming widespread. We get to number 8, and it's a military machine titled the M60 AVLB. So if you're the bad guy, you might be a little bit perplexed about what kind of vehicle is coming at you. And by the time you realize what is happening, a barrage of army vehicles starts crossing this man-made bridge, and obliterates your facilities. The AVLB can achieve a 60 foot span and a class 60 military load bearing, which is pretty high. The vehicle itself is based on an M60 tank chassis and it can go an impressive 30 miles per hour. The tank also has a range of 290 miles, so it's a very versatile and crucial piece of equipment to the US military. We get to number 7, and it's the modified EC300. The ultimate mod stems from the Beko group, and they have converted a Volvo EC300 into a weird machine which can tilt and elevate its cab. I guess it's not that bad of an idea since it produces greater visibility, but I think this kind of setup would work really good for a lawn stick hole. Anyways, the AC300 is your typical backhoe and it can handle a 2 cubic yard bucket and it weighs over 36 tons. Now we get to number 6 and unfortunately it's not a tank, but it is called the Panther. Are you tired of your operator's power turning on the worksite? Well, there is a machine for you. The truck box and the cab can fully rotate, so it can go in really tight areas. It has an 8 cubic yard capacity and it just weighs over 21 tons. The rubber track system also allows for work on paved roads and slippery terrain. I don't know about operating this type of thing myself because it would literally make my head spin, but it's definitely a really good idea and it would work really great on certain work sites. Now, some other companies are catching on and building a similar type of machine. And Terramac is also building a rotating dump truck, which is very similar to the 14R. Okay, so now I dug up some really interesting stuff. And we're going to get to number 5, which is titled the Echo Grader. Now, usually people think of the 24M Cat as the biggest grader in the world. But the Echo Grader was actually even larger than that. It weighed over 160 tons and had a 33 foot long blade so it can make a normally high wind rose. The grader also had 12 tires with two engines totaling 1700 horsepower. And yes, the machine can articulate, but unfortunately the grader never made it to the field because of trading restrictions. I'm sure this was never intended for a county road, so I'm gonna take a guess and say this thing was either for a heavy haul work road or reclamation work. Either way, it would have been really nice to see this machine actually running. We get to number 4, and I'm not really sure what this is, but apparently it's a tree stomper. This machine was actually used to clear trees, although it was not very efficient, and it was pretty rough on the operator. Its only advantage was that its outside feet distributed its weight over a large area, so it can go into bogs or muddy situations. It was over 120 tons and powered by a 475 horsepower Detroit diesel engine. Its walking mechanism is also based on the same principle as a walking dragline, which are giant machines used to remove overburden. We get to number 3 and it's the Snow Buggy. Back in 1953, Laterno came out with several different versions of their land train. One of the first variants was the VC-12, which had a lead cab and three trailers. A 500 horsepower Cummins diesel engine powered generator fed electric motors into 16 wheels. But the train never met production until the VC-22, which was built in 1955 and otherwise known as the Snow Freighter. It had two 400 horsepower Cummins diesel engines and five power trailers, equating to 150 tons of cargo capacity. The Snow Buggy was a pretty useful machine and this even led to the TE-497, which is even larger. But eventually large cargo helicopters and more efficient truck designs quickly phased out the need for land trains. 
At number 2, the LT360. We are beginning to see that Laterno went full out with extreme machine designs. The 360 adds to this list, which is the biggest scraper ever built. Making the long story short, it kind of started out as the LT120, which was a smaller variant of the 360. It had two Detroit diesels up front and two larger engines in the back, amounting to a total of 2200 horsepower and a 120 ton payload capacity. But Laterno thought this wasn't enough, so they eventually scaled up to the 360, which had over 5,000 horsepower and 360 ton payload capacity. However, this machine was over 200 feet long and had had a very long turning radius. So it was a real pain to transport and it only worked in certain situations. Nevertheless, I think it's one of the most impressive machines ever built. We get to the ultimate number one and it's the Tsar tank. World War I involved brutal trench warfare which resulted in pretty massive casualties. And countries on both sides created many different types of machines to gain the upper hand. Some of these were pretty innovative while others were completely bizarre. Now this tank was one of these weird machines and it resembles something more like a tricycle rather than a weapon of war. Anyways, the tank stands 30 feet tall and it weighs over 60 tons. It features a large carriage with a main top turret. Each wheel was powered by a 250 horsepower engine, but unfortunately the tank got stuck on its first trial run. So the giant wheel machine didn't really pan out for tank warfare. So anyways, thanks for watching this fun video. Please like it if you enjoyed it. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel for more machine videos.